What's up, my people? Stop playing with me. It's been a long time. 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 I know it's been a long time since I did a video for you guys. Um, so uh, I hope you guys missed me. I've surely missed you guys. I've just been so busy, so 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 busy. <sighs> Life. But anyways. If so, today I'll be speaking to you guys about the EMUI 10. This is the new uh, software by Huawei. EMUI cut. A few moments later. I actually asked a couple of people about the software and I didn't actually get any answers from anyone. Yeah, that happens. So I decided as me, the Huawei Ninja, that I'm going to do it for you guys. So I'll be just checking it out, you know, like the functionalities, um, how is it like, you know, uh, what new things can we expect from it. So yeah, uh, I'll, be, I'll be using dark mode also. Oh, excuse me. Uh, another thing, for those of you that uh, still don't uh, have the update yet, uh, this is for you guys using, you know, some Mate 20 Pros and P30 Pros. Uh, it's still it's still coming. Sometimes the rollout just comes to other phones much quicker than others. So, but right now, um, with the with the error log sheet, uh, there was an apparent uh, there was a, the, the, there was an apparent um, glitch when it comes to certain banking softwares. Uh, I haven't I haven't had that so. I will go into some banking apps like NetBank, uh, Standard Bank, Capitec. Those are the top. Oh, and yeah, Standard Bank, NetBank, and Capitec. Those are the top three that I actually use. And yeah, man, I I haven't had a problem yet. Uh, the the software seems stable for now, so I'm I'm actually quite happy. The the display it feels it feels smoother in some other way. It feels smoother, even the touch. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me. Who knows? Maybe I just love Huawei so much. But anyways, yes. If you like this video, give us give it a thumbs up. If you don't like this video, give it give it <clears throat> a thumbs down. Changed up, still a thumbs up. And if you haven't seen any of my other videos, you can look through my other videos. I'll be doing a take apart video of the selfie sticks. A couple of people told me that they have a problem when it comes to charging so i don't know what's happening with that so i'm gonna get into that also maybe there's something that actually gets unplugged in some unplugged in some way i don't know we'll have to look into that um yeah guys the name is Nduki Mashile and i'm from south africa and i'm also known as the huawei ninja because most of my videos are about huawei products phones whatever gadget that you have uh maybe if you can just give me a shout out tag Huawei also so that they can bring me more video more cell phones so i can do more footage for for you guys that would be awesome guys if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe peace so first look i'll be just looking at the colors the color scheme it seems as if Huawei moved from cmyk to RGB because the colors look more colorful. Can I say colorful or a bit? Yeah, I mean, they're, they're, they're more brighter right now. Like looking at the apps that I currently use, maybe you guys use some of the apps. I don't know. Um, so this is the first look at your EMUI 10. Uh, just to show you guys that I am actually using the EMUI 10. I will go into <laughs> WhatsApp. <laughs> yeah, it does that. I, I love that functionality also whereby you can just see the message and then it pops out. Uh it it, it feels smoother also. It feels really smooth. I'll just go into system and updates. Software update. Uh well I'm already uh using the new package. It's the ten point 0 0.0168 uh, so basically this update uh, fixes an issue where certain user interface elements would be incorrectly displayed in some situations I don't know what situations those are 
but I am happy. Anyways, let's just get out of this. So um, looking at the drop down menu, the drop down settings, when you look at that. So these are the all the notification notifications that I have and running apps. So I have location, I've in short, I have high suit, I have uh, superbulous, the WhatsApp and my health monitor. Yeah, and a zero record. Yeah. Anyways, uh, but looking at this, right? Just check this out. This is how it goes, like the drop down menu. So the other the other menus, the other menu options actually move uh, move to the right. Well, actually they go down instead of the right, sort of making it a transition. Like if you look at the circles, also they're going from small to big. So basically they're making space for each other when the drop down menu actually appears. So it'll actually list the top five options that you have, meaning Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, um, mobile data, sounds and auto rotate, and then going down to allow more space to, so that you can make maybe sections of four, four, four. And if you want to add more, obviously you'll add two more next to screen recorder. But I, I, I kind of like that. I, I really, really like that. It checks. Let's see. Um, are there any new options here that you can add? Uh, let's see. Uh, wireless projection. I don't really use a projector. Uh, or a phone. Like, um, I don't use my phone with a PC unless if I'm connected via high suit. But otherwise, nah, I don't use the... Uh, wireless projection um, dark mode uh, it's one of the things that I use a lot um, eye comfort NFC Dolby Atmos auto Shazam um, yeah but I don't think that I'll be needing any other option right now uh, for those of you that want to access dark mode quicker I believe you can just drag on it and then put it on top of your on, on like as part of the the other menus there well the other options that are there and just click on done and that's it so let's get into dark mode so as you can see it's sort of like the color is grayed grayed out it's it's a it's a it's a gray it's a light gray um blue and white and obviously for the clock all well, time it uses you know um a dark black well a black obviously and a little bit of a dark gray so even for like you know the menu names option names uh it's a it's a bit of a darkness right there and the icons it's a dark gray i'm not a color guru so correct me if i'm wrong mm -hmm. i'll know for next time so let's get into dark mode and let's see what it does. It's not dark, dark. It is, it's sort of like, um, and a, a transparent, a transparent black, a little, a little bit transparent black. And I, I, I like it. It looks, it looks really cool. It looks really, 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 really cool. Anyways, um, yeah, let's get into the other settings. Uh, clicked on the gear. So, uh, for those of you um, just looking for another option to go into dark mode, you click on display and brightness, and there it is, quickly, just like that. So, in your previous um, OS, you wouldn't find dark mode like this. There was this option, I forgot what it was called but it wasn't really dark mode so the reason why this is dark mode because everything on the menu is dark i mean look at the cool option right here uh it is dark but then when getting into it it still shows shows white um but a hey, we can't fault um Huawei for that it is it is really it is really still nice and then here's the other thing so apparently every single app was supposed to be dark 
well in dark mode but um i guess they're still speaking to the developers maybe i don't know maybe it might happen but the only app that i know that actually does go with the current um display setting is instagram you check it is also dark so just so that i can show you guys that this is true what i'm telling you and i'm not lying let's do this menu let's remove dark mode and instagram is back to normal again dark mode and yibo there's your instagram again being dark and all uh anyways let me just get out of this so um for those of you that love playing games uh i would suggest you go into well this is like games that take up a lot of graphics i would suggest you go into apps uh, you go into app assistant uh, as you can see there mine is turned on uh, so that it can help me with you know bringing more graphics to um, well better performance if you if you know if you're currently using maybe 9.0 you'll see that the menu is different from yours when you go into app assistant at the bottom you'll find game acceleration and uh, what's the other option i think it is do not disturb mode i'll get into that uh quite soon don't worry i'll get into that quite soon uh game center this is where you add the apps that you want to use maybe that they actually take up a lot of um graphics and you know um that use a lot of processing power uh these are the games that i currently have on if I, if i wanted to put in a new game i just click that and i'd look for whatever game that i wanted to place on here and yeah it'll just be added just like that quickly and if you click on the gear it will take you to the normal menu uh, realizing this yeah if you look to your top left um you have to just slide your finger to the right and then the menu will appear so this is uninterrupted gaming if you want to screenshot screen record facebook whatsapp whatever but you can also check all features which i'll show you you know other things you can just click on let me just show you something now let's go to facebook so basically i can still look at my facebook notifications see whoever's saying whatever well ha, that's me with the cap <laughs> anyways uh let me just yeah if you want to make it bigger you can uh just like that and then i'll just get out of facebook once again and yeah click on the menu maybe I, I don't think whatsapp will display the same oh it does oh nice See whatever I say or see whatever someone is saying and yeah that's it uh well that's when you don't actually want to get uh like just see what whoever is saying whatever and still continue playing your game may that is there is something that's quite cool but I only answer when my wife actually texts me so because obviously <laughs> she is my wife yeah, so guys, there's not really much I can talk about in terms of the EMUI 10. Uh, I'd love to see all apps being on dark mode. Oh, the high K. High K is also different now. It doesn't display like this on the previous EMUI. And uh, it, it, it looks cool, man. I like, I like how it, it, it starts, it pops up. It really, it really looks cool. Um, I'm expecting more from this. But right now, I don't have any, any, any problems with it. Oh, going into your banking apps. Obviously, I cannot go deeper than this because I don't want to show you guys how much money I have. How much money I have. Because um, I don't have any. <laughs> That's why I'm on YouTube <laughs> trying to get this money. 
um does that that is netbank um let's see uh, another banking app would be capitech so if it had a problem it would actually show you even before on starting up um but i haven't i haven't gotten any problem as yet and your standard bank app as i told you guys in the video everything seems everything seems fine man so yeah that is that is emui 10 for you guys i i i like it i really really like it and i'm i'm waiting to see more of this um tell me something have you guys i've i've i've, I've been having this thing for quite a while now whereby i'm using my p30 with one hand and i'm texting so while texting um the app suddenly just or can i say like the keyboard just suddenly disappears and i have to click on it again in order for it to reappear is this, is it a glitch that only i'm experiencing or is it is it uh for everyone this is to do with um your social media apps like your facebook and whatsapp so yeah if you're having the pro a problem like that please let me know so that maybe we can take this up with huawei and they could sort it out for us thank you for watching the video once again the name is Ntuki Mashile and Peace.